I joined the New York City Ballet October the 19th, 1949. That first season was most exciting for me as a dance experience and also with the kind of person Mr. Balanchine was. The way he, his gentility, he, his quiet demand of uh, the attention of the dancers. Most of the dancers in the corps and soloists were from the school. Myself, I had never even studied the School of American Ballet. When he saw me in rehearsals, I'm sure he was impressed with my energy and my enthusiasm and perhaps my technique, but not necessarily the way he saw my body or the possibility of its developing. And we worked right from the very beginning, from a grand plié. Through the teaching, he created a look. If you were came with rounded muscles, strong muscles, such as I did, I realized that after working with Mr. Balanchine and dancing the repertoire, my muscles became elongated, like a racehorse, with great speed and great beautiful movement. And that was part of what we call the Balanchine look. It isn't that you're tall and long and you have a small head, and you know. It's a look of movement. I always say that you become a Balanchine dancer because you dance Balanchine repertoire and because you are trained to dance that repertoire, you don't all of a sudden look and say, that is a Balanchine dancer. In his own choreography, if you examine, even to this day, he does nothing complicated, no tricks. Simplicity was the key word. I believe he was very much influenced by Petipa. This is what he saw when he was a little boy at, in, the, in the theater. 